Hello everybody, I was watching YouTube today and I got shown a video by Michael Crump about how to jailbreak your PS4 using an ESP32 S2. Now, I don't know anything about jailbreaking PS4s, but I do know a lot about these guys and I have a way of setting up one of these to do the project that couldn't be any simpler and I'm going to show it to you now. The only thing you need to set this up is an ESP32 S2 board. This is an S2 mini board, the same one Michael used in his video, but any of these ESP32 S2 boards should work. I have tested the method using a Feder S2 board, which is actually made by a friend of mine from Australia called Unexpected Maker. So yeah, any of these boards should work fine. So all you need to do is plug the board into your PC using a USB cable. Both of these have USB-C cables, so you'll just need to check whichever your board has and just plug it into your PC. The next thing you'll want to do is bring it into flash mode. To do this, you hold down the boot or zero button, then tap the reset button, then let go of the boot or zero button. If you want to check that it is going into programming mode, you can open up the hardware menu in Windows and check that you're getting an entry for an ESP32 S2. You also might want to take note of the COM port because we'll need it in a second, but it's usually the only one that's available anyways. The next thing you want to do is visit this web page on a Chrome browser. I think Edge should work as well, but if you try visit it on any other type of browser, you'll see this error message, so it has to be Chrome. Then all you do is click this connect button. You then select the COM port of your ESP32. You then click install and say yes to erasing the flash. You then leave it a minute and wait. And that's it. So that's it, fully flashed and ready to go, but there are a couple of things you should know. So this is an unmodified version of the code. In Michael's video, he talks about changing a USB weight parameter. That's not changed. This is completely untouched from what the GitHub page was today. It also doesn't include any of the additional bin files that you can add to the project. But I think Michael would be in a much better position to talk about that than me because, as I said, I don't know anything. So I'll leave a timestamp to Michael's video where he starts talking about the options and how to use the device with your PS4. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.